So today, I wanna to talk a little bit about safety. Stay tuned. Hi guys, so for those of you that don't know, my name is Michael and I am the woodworker for MK Designs. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about safety today. Um, a couple weeks ago, I came out with a video uh, on how, to, how I clean my saw blades. Um, I used the pitch and resin cleaner from Rockler. And after I put that video out, I've seen in a lot of the woodworking groups uh, people asking questions how to clean their saw blades. I'm not sure why that happened that way, but it did. But what has gotten me is a lot of the comments were, you know, oven cleaner and things of that nature. And I actually saw one comment where it said, oven cleaner is the best, hands down, nothing better. For cleaning the blade and getting the stuff off, that may be true. However, there is an issue with using oven cleaner. And a lot of people are going to argue with me. I know this, but let me hear me out and let me explain. And I'm, I fully welcome any discussion, any arguments, any disagreements with me, not arguments, but disagreements with me in the comments of this video, as long as you keep it civil. If you start attacking people, I will remove the comment and I will not, I will not acknowledge you. I'll just remove the comment, period. So keep it civil and we can discuss this in the comments, however you want to. But oven cleaner actually attacks the brazing compound that holds the carbide teeth on. Carbide teeth cannot be welded because carbide doesn't weld. It's, it's a hardened metal and it, it doesn't weld. So they have to use a, a brazing compound which contains tin. And I got to talking to an organic chemist friend of mine. A lot of you are gonna know who I'm talking about. And he actually broke it down for me so that I could try and explain it to you guys better. And he said that I could actually use his words and quote him in this. So I'm gonna grab my iPad and read to you exactly what he said. What he said was oven cleaner. Oven cleaner is primarily sodium hydroxide, which is a base, not an acid. A lot of people mistake, I even I did, mistake oven cleaner for an acid because of the way that it works. But it's not, it's a base, it's an alkali. In the pH scale, acids are closer to one, bases are closer to 14. Talking about pH balance and all that. They have to be basic. They have to be basic to most effectively attack burnt on foodstuffs or carbonized matter. And that's how they work. They, they, they go in and they attack that stuff and they, a lot of times they completely get rid of it. Sometimes you have to wipe it out. But you all know how it works. I'm sure you've all cleaned an oven before. So sodium hydroxide, which is the primary ingredient in oven cleaner, reacts with tin, which is the primary ingredient in the brazing compound that holds the carbide teeth onto the steel blade. Again, they can't be welded. Carbide doesn't weld. Tin reacts with sodium hydroxide and water to form a new compound called 10,3-hydroxide. SNOH3, and I'll put all the, yeah, <laughs> I'll put all this stuff on the screen so you can see it. And what this does is it pulls the tin out of the brazing compound, making it weaker. That's how oven cleaner works. The sodium hydroxide reacts with the tin and water and pulls it out. So it's a very, very slow reaction. So th this is where everybody's gonna argue with me, but I've never had the teeth fly off on me. Well, no, you haven't. We don't have a bunch of dead people around that have used the oven cleaner to clean their blades because it is a very, very slow reaction. I'm sure that if you put oven cleaner on your blade and let it sit on there for a month, maybe, that it would completely pull the brazen compound off and some of your teeth may even just pop off in your hand. But it is such a slow reaction that it doesn't seem like it's actually doing what people are telling you it's doing. Again, oven cleaner gets the stuff off of the blades. It gets them clean. 
it does not react with the carbide itself. It reacts with the brazing compound, the tin in the brazing compound. And it weakens that joint. And over time, it can cause one of the teeth to fly off. And so I'm, I'm imploring you guys, please, 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 please do not use oven cleaner. That is the one thing that I really don't want you guys to be using. Because I have heard of it happening. Granted, it doesn't happen often, but I have heard of it happening. And I don't want that to happen to any of you. Uh, uh, ultimately, it's your choice. You can do what you want. And I, I can't, I'm not, I'm not going to come to your shop and smack your hand every time you grab the oven cleaner to clean your blades. I'm not going to do that. It's your choice. I'm just giving you the, the advice and the warning and the information to make a, uh, an educated decision. Again, it doesn't happen that often because it is such a slow reaction, but it is possible for it to happen, and that's what scares me. Now, a lot of people talk about Simple Green. Simple Green actually recommends not using their product, the green product, for cleaning carbide saw blades. They do, however, have an HD purple solution that they actually recommend using for carbide saw blades. <laughs> so that's that on that one. That's all I'm going to say on that one. I'm not going to go into the details because honestly, Simple Green is such a proprietary formula. It's so top secret that most people don't really know what's in it. I mean, uh, chemists can break it down and tell you what's in it, but it, it's a secret recipe, so to speak. So... All I can tell you is the manufacturer recommends not using the green stuff on blades. Use the purple stuff. That's that on Simple Green. Now, as far as alternatives to using oven cleaner, Simple Green, or the pitch and resin cleaner like I use, um, I've heard of a lot of people using deter di uh, the laundry detergent. Um, that seems to work really well for people. Uh, I've heard of people using just soap and water, you know, like ivory or Dial or something along those lines. It does work. As far as I can tell, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. Uh, I've heard of one guy using toothpaste. And I've heard of another guy using soda like Coke or Pepsi or RC. Um, things of that nature. Um, most of the people that I know and that I is, is in my little circle of uh, woodworking friends, they either use the pitch and resin cleaner from Rocker like I use or they use the purple simple simple green stuff the H, simple green HD and it's purple and it, it, it works really well for them again like I said it is ultimately your decision to use oven cleaner or not I can't force you not to all I can do is ask you please reconsider and other options and yeah always 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 when you're in your shop be safe Make sure you're in the right head. Think about the th think about the stuff you're using to clean your stuff. Think about the stuff you're using for maintenance on your tools. Think about the tools that you're using and what you have to do to be safe to use that tool. And make sure you're always in the right state of mind whenever you're in your shop. If you're angry or you're depressed or you've got so much going on that you can't focus, you probably shouldn't be doing too much in the shop. Maybe clean up, maybe a little bit of sanding, something along those lines, but you don't want to be working with any any major power tools. That's a recipe for disaster. Just please, 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 guys, be safe. Whatever you decide to do, just be safe. That's all I ask. So, until next time, guys, <laughs> happy creating.